this team, they failed themselves, they failed the sport, and they failed their country. The lack of leadership, the lack of integrity, Soft, the lack of underperforming, character. tattooed millionaires. What is the identity and the message from the top to the bottom? We got what I think we deserve. I just remember a lot of sadness. The field obviously wasn't great, but you make no excuses on the night, just weren't good enough. What I remember is the faces on my teammates and it ultimately setting in that we didn't qualify. The disappointment of, of that night will, will always be there. I know Michael for a long time, and obviously that was a tough period for both of us. I mean, still to this day, you know, we get some, a lot of hate messages and threats and those type of things from fans and people. There's a lot of moments that stick with me. The own goal, the second goal that went past Howard. I get how difficult it was for the fans, and it was also a really difficult period for us as players. Some teammates are crying, some teammates are you know, screaming in anger. Tough night, and that would change uh, the future for all of us. It took a while just to get over it and, and really just find the confidence to be your complete self again. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. They got a long way to go to win back the hearts and minds of American soccer fans. And I think that they will do it. The amount of time it took for me to really feel like myself again, probably like a year later. It always sticks with you, you never kind of forget it, but you can't let it define you. It just motivates me to keep going and want to be in the next World Cup that much more. You have to take it for what it is, and hopefully it makes you stronger down the road. It's no different than any other failure in life. Next on the schedule for the U.S. is a rematch with Trinidad and Tobago. Revenge on the minds of the U.S. men's national team. There's a lot on their minds about what happened in the past, and I think they're ready to prove something on this occasion tonight. We understand that it's a game that people will talk about in terms of chance for revenge or first time playing Trinidad since we didn't qualify, but it's a totally different team, totally different circumstance. I don't think about that game much. We want to beat them just like we want to beat you know every other team. When that game comes around against Trinidad and Tobago, we'll be excited, we'll be ready to win. Losing to them in a World Cup qualifier and not making a World Cup is different playing them in a group stage in a Gold Cup, but obviously there's a sting there. It was the opponent that knocked us out, so there'll definitely be a little bit of emotion, but the goal will be to win the game. We want to turn the page and show this is a new group. Approach it differently. Approach it in a way that it's not revenge. We want to play our way and we want to win the game. Gets it away and scores! Oh, what a goal! It's been a heck of a night. We are finally back. We're going to treat the game with respect, make sure that we go out there and give everything we have to get a result that puts us in a good spot to advance out of the group. Having been to two World Cups, it's something really special. It's the creme de la creme, it's the epitome of your sport. To lose that opportunity, I don't think it's anything you kind of get used to or recover from. You got to let it fuel you. That's been my mindset, and I said to myself, that's what I would do from that day on. And, and I feel like since that day, I'm a better player, a better person, and you're just a bit wiser for it.